Fiscus agreed to meet me here, but there's no sight of him. What gives? There's a letter here. What's this on the envelope? Grey Peony. This must be from Green Hibiscus. The disciples sure know how to keep a low profile. Looks like I'll need to help them complete this mission. If they're looking to intercept mail, I should probably start by searching near Exalting Sanctum Psycrane stands. So we are now alone, like supposed to be alone in this mission, right? What's written on this package? Seat of Divine Foresight, urgent. This is it. The mail the disciples want to intercept. <laughs> Seems like it's encrypted somehow. Makes sense. This is critical intelligence after all. <sighs> Let's see if I can crack the code. Can you only can do that? Oh, hello, Nupaza. from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Judging from these urgent instructions, the disciples are aware of a seat of divine foresight operation to infiltrate their ranks. <laughs> no wonder Green Hibiscus was so eager to intercept this. I'll use my phone to make a copy and then hand it over to Green Hibiscus. Of Moon, this is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. And of course, an NPC, so he's a bad to the core. It seems you have some impressive skills in your arsenal. No need for modesty. I've studied martial arts for years. I can tell how strong you are with just a glance. You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Good. Life is a miracle and a blessing. Any futile attempt to forsake it is a disgraceful betrayal. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom.
The disciple responsible for creating medicinal pellets heard of your exploits. They prepared the prescription for you personally. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with your own solution. Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Do you have any questions? I don't know. I've heard our members are in the tens of thousands. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has a flat organizational structure. The head of each area reports directly to the Master. I know nothing about what goes on elsewhere. The benefit is that even if our enemies were to wipe out the exalting Sanctum branch, it wouldn't affect our brothers and sisters in other areas. That's sensitive information. I know who they are, but for their security, I can't reveal their identities. It's not that I doubt your loyalty, Grey Peony. It's like I said, security. The boss? You mean the master? You'll meet them, but for now there's no rush. All in good time. Keep fulfilling your duties, as you have been. With your strength, you'll have an audience with the Master in no time. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I once worked alongside those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor. But I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of Merciful Medicus. Wait. You recognize me? Where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. M M Mav Moons, sir. We have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Whoops. I'm getting terrible. Idiot! What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent infiltrate our ranks? I... I... I couldn't have known, sir. I... I witnessed this person slay a Cloud Knight before my very eyes. Detestable. The devilish Archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. Are we gonna fight the NPCs? We're in trouble now. Why are two monsters here? <laughs> yeah, time to twirl. <clears throat> Immortality means forever. Lance at the ready. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> time to twirl. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> A miracle. I'm on guard. Honored to meet me. 
Time for a shot. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Nap time. <laughs> So wait, there are titanic to monsters? Okay. This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Now time. <laughs> yeah! A miracle! Immortality! So Mauve Moon was the agent that Ching Zhu lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I should go to the seat of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. Uh, I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. So, what happened? Did everything go as planned? Don't worry. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, you gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. <sighs> I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the Plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like Jersene away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. You've managed to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the Seed of Divine Foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please... Accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? The prescription you acquired is... beyond my knowledge. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. This will allow the Seed of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine Foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Ah, why, hello there. Anything I can help you with? So, this is official Seat of Divine Foresight business, eh? Then I'll do everything I can to assist you. Haha! <laughs> Let's take a look at this prescription you mentioned. Hmm. Mm. If this request had come from anywhere else, it would have seemed like a joke. That the Seed of Divine Foresight only deals in the serious. I can't understand this prescription. And I imagine that other alchemists won't be able to make sense of it either. 
I recommend you go directly to the chief alchemist, Lady Don Shu. Lady Don Shu is renowned for her unique line of reasoning. She's proposed several prescriptions that would have been incomprehensible to us if she hadn't explained the pharmacology. Still, those same prescriptions have always been able to produce miraculous effects. Lady Don Shu is a truly gifted alchemist. All the more amazing given her sightlessness, wouldn't you say? Lady Don Shu likes to pass the time over at Sinwood Pavilion. I'm sure you'll run into her if you head that way. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadara healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. Can you read it to me? Thank you. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of... ascension. The specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidyadara Bone Marrow and test the prescription myself, could I? Leave your contact details with me. When I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Is she blind? Let me check to an NPC. Excuse me, man. Yeah, I guess he's blind. Wait, didn't I get rest to you? Yeah, I think she's blind. Okay, but let me check the text. Really, Natasha? I'm on the other side of the world now. Of the universe, actually. Video call? Video call? I, why do I feel that it's gonna become a thing? Wow, let me read. Fire. Okay, got but let's continue with this. Are we supposed to meet someone there? 
It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. Seven, how many horror movies are you watching? And I'm surprised you guys are still tagging along. Where were you all doing all that uh, undercover mission? That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Hurry up, Chingcha. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve? I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! But folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real Exalting Sanctum and introduce you to a true Siam Joe pastime. Celestial Jade! <laughs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. Mr. Yang, is this really the best time? Ah, uh, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from its celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo?
Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go.